Hello, what's up my friends? How you doing? It is me, Lasty here. Welcome today to a brand new episode of the FC24 Ultimate Team Road to Glory. Episode number 326 today. Now first off, just a quick apology. Uh, sorry for the lack of uploads in the last week. If I'm being honest, I just feel like we're so at the end of the game. Uh, I kind of lost my motivation last week. I lost my way uh, in terms of my video schedule, my diet, my exercise, all of that stuff. So um, apologies for that. But we're back this weekend with some more RTG for you. I'm sporting a very shiny, fancy shirt. This is actually the Ipswich Town goalkeeper third strip, which I've never owned a goalkeeper shirt in my life, let alone a third strip goalkeeper shirt. So, uh, yeah, I hope you like it. <laughs> if you enjoyed today, hit me with a thumbs up. Subscribe as well if you're new. And don't forget that all my social links are down below. Um, so, yeah, I've got a couple of days before I, I jet off on a little holiday just to get some sunshine before the start of FC 25. So we've got today's episode and tomorrow's episode as part of the final episodes of the road to glory this year um i start off very strong in today's video with a 99 rated car chowi popping up in my uh in my player pick now that was quite an expensive player pick that was one of those one of three 95 plus ones we've got a few days worth of content and i've cut out so many packs but then i've included a bunch that i thought look pretty good so, yeah, I've, I've added them in there. Um, like, yes, yeah, it's always a good day when you're packing a 97 Socrates. Unless, of course, it's a duplicate, which this one is for me. Um, so I know that t today's episode is called, like, the final pieces of the puzzle or something like that. Uh, and it's obvious to you guys what that kind of means, right? Now, I'm not saying that I've been able to pack every single one of the 99 rated cards and all of those icons and stuff that I really want, but I think the majority of the really cool stuff that is in my, like, the back of my mind as my wish list for the end game uh, part of FC24, <clears throat> we're going to be able to get a, a couple of those today. And it's for me, it's like a good end point uh, in terms of actually, like, for the series on YouTube, if you know what I mean. So I do another one of those 95 plus player picks. Not quite such a good one this time around. No 99s in sight. I think I end up just taking this 96 Gonzalez because it's one that I don't already own. Um, and yeah, 96 was the highest rated we got along that entire entire thing. Um, so we're now submitting a 92 rated squad and we have done... I don't know, is it one or two? Yeah, we've got two 92 rated squads to submit. Here's the second one right here. Uh, for the, what is this one this time? It's the 95 plus. Is it the same thing again? Oh, yeah, you could do this like four times, couldn't you? Let's do it again. See what, if we can get anything amazing. Oh, no. We do kind of get some amazing stuff. Like, all three of those high rated ones are kind of nice. But I've already got them. So we're going to just take the 95 rated Aramburu. Um, because it means I don't have to make an instant decision on what I do. Like, I don't have to instantly put it back into an SBC. Because when you've just completed a couple of 92 rated squads, you kind of don't have much left in the club that you're willing to submit if you're just recycling the current cards that are out. If I go through my entire club, I've got pages and pages and pages of 94s, 95s, 96s and stuff. But they're ones that I kind of want to keep. So... I don't know how any of you have been doing these like crazy Pele and Mia Ham SBCs where you've got to put in multiple 93, 94 rated teams. I actually don't know how you've been doing that unless you've been saying goodbye to a lot of stuff that you won't be able to pack again or that you just hope you'll pack again. I guess you could always do that, couldn't you? Just in the hopes that you'll get that stuff again. Maybe. Anyway, we'll see. So, uh... As I'm filming this, it's Friday afternoon slash evening, but I don't know what's out at 6 p.m. just yet. You guys will obviously know that by the time you're watching it. Uh, and today I will be heading to Portman Road to watch Ipswich Town. Uh, well, tomorrow. Today while you're watching this, tomorrow for me, as I just said, it's Friday afternoon as I'm filming. Uh, but I'll be going down to watch Ipswich versus Fulham in the Premier League. Um, no doubt about it, going to be a super tough game. Fulham have some actually very good players and a, a, good, a great coach, haven't they? So... Um, I'm sure Marco Silva's Fulham will give us a, a hell of a game. Um, but it is the first game of the Premier League season for us, which looks like, you know, if there was a chance that we, if we played really well and outdid Fulham, we could actually get some points on the board. Um, you don't expect that against Liverpool and Man City, the, the, the very, very tough start that we've had. So it'd be amazing if we could get a draw or a win today. That'd be so, so good. But that is absolutely not given um, because I think Fulham will come and 
they'll see us as the new boys, right? Yeah, that's a guaranteed three points for an established Premier League side. Um, and we'll have to see what we can do about that. So, yeah, I'm very much looking forward to another game in the Prem. And then we go straight to the international break, don't we? So we're only three games into the season. And uh, and we have, to, we have to break for a couple of weeks. That kind of sucks. Uh, what will be the first game? The first game back for me is Brighton away. So, uh, yeah, be going to... Be going to Brighton. Um, never been to the Amex. So it's going to be a lot of stadiums are going to be new ones for me this year. Ticking quite a lot off my uh, my ninety two uh, because we've worked our way through many many leagues at this point. Uh, so as you can see, another duplicate ninety five footies card. I do seem to pack these every now and again. Um, it does seem like when I do get duplicates, it's like the higher rated cards in the pack because I have been lucky enough to pack them already. So maybe that is what people do. They're, they're happy to submit all sorts of stuff into those 93, 94 rated squads. Like even if they only had one St. Max, just pop them into the SBC because you're probably going to pack them at some point, right? If this is truly the end game, then we should have unlimited 84 times 10s and then 10 85 times 10s every day for the foreseeable. So, uh, yeah, anyway, one of three 96 plus footies. Come on, Rolfo. Welcome to the club. She is possibly one of the most uh, MVP iconic players of the road to glory this year. That fantasy foot Rolfo was so, so good. And genuinely could still be in my main squad right now. But we can now level up and get a 98 rated pink footies version. Oh, that's so nice to actually own that card. Um, I would have... It was definitely up there as one of the best SBCs, right? Her and Timo Werner uh, and Havertz, team of the season. like All of those, those SBCs were some of the gems this year and uh, deserve a mention. So to pack... A really, really cool version of Rolfo. The best version of her on the game uh, is amazing. Perfect. Love that. So that's one, one uh, piece of the puzzle. One piece of the final part of the pieces of the parts of the puzzle. I'm lost. I'm lost for words. Uh, but yeah, we, we add Rolfo in, which is really, really cool. Um, out of the top five icons that I wanted to pack, like the greats of the game ones. Um, we have Ronaldinho, we have Zidane, we have Henri. Two of those left are... Z um, not Zidane, we've got Zidane. Uh, oh, we packed Rodman, by the way. Finally, got Rodman. Uh, it's basically Hullet and R9, right? Those are the two players that I have left from the greats of the game icons that uh, I would love to pack. Uh, and then, of course, any of the 99s, like 99 Messi, 99 Ronaldo, um... And I guess like 99 Pele, Alex Morgan. I don't know if all of those guys are in packs or not. Uh, but yeah, those those would be the few that I think even when once the series is done on YouTube um, tomorrow, I think I'll probably still log on and do 85 times 10s every now and again. See if I can just grab them just for the future. You know, just if we ever go back and look back at the squad, it'd be nice that I owned a 99 CR7 or whatever. So it'd be, it'd be kind of cool. Uh, Hopefully EA just makes that a lot more possible with the 6 p.m. Friday night stuff. Just just make the pack weights in insane for everyone. Let us all have everything at this point. We are so, so close to it being September. Um, so, yeah, do that, please. That, that'd, be, that'd be absolutely great. Uh, we are about two-thirds of the way through the episode, and we've packed one of the three... Uh, major sort of players for today, uh, which is quite nice. But what have we got here? We've got another one of these 95 plus uh, footies, make your mark, greats of the game, all of that stuff. Can we get anyone else big? Come on. Come on. <gasps> uh, it's not the greatest. It's 496s, uh, two of which we already own. I'm going to go ahead and take this Bruno Fernandes. Uh, or Bruno Fernandes. I know he's super cheap. He's like 16k, but Still, still going to take him, you know? Uh, and then uh, first 85 times 10 of the day that I opened just a little while ago. It looks like we're getting a 98 Musiala. Oh, we have got him already, but that is one hell of a duplicate, isn't it? Um, yeah, that's a, that's a pretty big pull. Uh, I know a lot of people still have been struggling to get him. And then Ruben Neves behind it. Uh, but it's only once we get into the pack, we can finally see R9 Ronaldo, 98 rated grace of the game. <sighs> Welcome to my club. Uh, finally, we pack another one of those big end game icons. Welcome R9. Still about 2 million coins. Super buzzing about that because that to me was like 
Oh, I think the I think the series can end now. I think that's I you know, we've finally got another one of the massive pulls. It seemed like for the last few days I've been packing and packing and packing. Nothing major has come out, just Rolfo has been the best thing. Um, but to get Rolfo and now R9, that's that's pretty big in my eyes. And 99 Karchawi, of course. Getting a 99 as well in this episode is a really decent sort of um way to almost like wrap things up if you know what i mean uh and then we do get patrick vieira's sbc done that's super cheap of course because he isn't actually that expensive on the market uh but of course with fodder being so attainable especially like the with the, the highest rated squad for this is like 89 so you guys can definitely do it it's like an 8, 100k sbc i think um we welcome in 97 rated patrick vieira oh love that Welcome to the club. A proper end game CDM uh, type player. Uh, but I don't know if he'll make it in the squad over Rolfo and Zidane because they're two of my favourites, you know, at this point. Uh, but as you can tell, uh, we've we've basically added so many good things in here. Uh, tomorrow's episode, which I am dubbing as the final episode of the RTG, will be uh, a club tour. I need to I need to show you that around the club for the, the final time, right? Maybe pick out some MVP players, go through the top leagues and show you exactly what sort of squad I can build with them. Full icon teams, show you where I got to with like my Ipswich players and stuff. I think that would be a really, really nice way to to end things off for, for the series this year. Um, yeah, seems good to me, in my opinion, anyway. Um, and then as you can see, what are we just doing here? 91 rated squad and a 92 rated squad for another one of the uh, one of four icon player picks. Obviously, at this point, if I can just get Pele or Hullet, that would be so, so good. Unfortunately, it doesn't happen. I'd already submitted Hierro into an SBC a while ago, so we can take him again. Uh, he's no longer a duplicate. I've, I've packed him many a time, though. Um, uh, so, yeah, it's just if, I, if, if I'm if i going to do any, if I have spare fodder, it's going to go into Icon SBCs just to see if maybe we can get that Hullet or that Pele. Um, those, those really are the two that I'm kind of, uh really after at this point just for the the finalization of the account uh we do get a duplicate Giroud and a duplicate 97 rated Valverde cool card that one probably one of the best center mids in the game actually uh and then what is this one going to be uh oh that looks like a duplicate 97 Di Natale we talked about in a previous episode when we packed him before how that was one of the rarer cards on the game for quite a while so uh yeah it's not anymore. People who can get him left, right, and center, and that Bobby Charlton as well. So uh, they're going to go into what is going to be one final icon player pick of the episode, potentially of the series. Come on, Hullet. Just show yourself. Oh, no. It's good. I get one of the five big ones that I wanted in, in Henri, but I've already got him. Henri and Canton are there. Uh, two. Big hitters, uh, two proper endgame strikers in my opinion, uh, but not quite the one we wanted. And then I got a greats of the game icon in a pack, and I'm like, surely this would be poetry. Oh, we get someone really cool that we haven't already got, but it isn't that hullet that I so desired. Um, it is a 98 rated Kenny Dalgleish. So uh, that's actually very cool as well. I don't think he's much. I think he's maybe 50,000 coins. But uh, a 98 Dalgleish and a 97 Ruben Diaz uh, is a it's, it's kind of decent again. Not not too shabby at all. Um, oh, I do have one more icon pick for you, but it's a one of three. And you know what? We might as well just go and get someone that we really wanted, right? Oh wait, I thought maybe just just maybe it could have been Hullet. Unfortunately, unfortunately not though, uh, my friends. So that brings us towards the end of the episode here. I think a changing of the guard up front, we can bring 98 R9 in uh, over Haaland. Um, ideally, I would have a front four of that Neymar, Ronaldinho, Ronaldo and Haaland, but they can't start right wing. Sam Kerr can, so she can stay in the squad. And then I think, uh, yeah, like Vieira needs to be in the in on the bench. Very cool card. And uh, we've got like a 198 squad. So it's it's obviously very, very cool. Um, what a team. What a team we've managed to amass over the last month or so. Uh, crazy squad. Crazy, uh, crazy end to the pack opening side of the RTG at this point. 
Thank you so much for watching today. If you're, like I said, tomorrow will be a, a, like a final club tour where I go through all the best parts uh, of what we've got uh, left over at the end of this year. Thank you so much for watching. Hit me with a thumbs up. That'd be absolutely magical of you lot. Subscribe as well if you're new. Cheers. And follow me on socials. I'm absolutely boiling. I'm going to go and sit in the garden for a bit, I think. Take it easy and I'll see you next time for the final episode. Peace.